above to avoid additional costs. For sure. I'll read that later. And these look like these are the injectors. Part of the, uh, the fuel pump. Another fuel pump. Another one. And this is the plug and play. Jeez. Pro Flex Commander. Definitely gonna put those stickers down. But yeah. The bitch, these are here. So I probably will be installing this solo dolo tomorrow. So we will see. Now this goes. All right, let's start now. Keep that all updated. I record everything also, so super super excited about this. All right. So I got the 392 covers off. This is a 2021 392 Durango, and it looks like there's only one fuel line if you have the newer Durangos. So. There's no videos on this, so I'm going to be the test dummy, basically. As far as when I connect that, I have to basically connect this hose to this hose. And I'll probably leave this one off and just leave this one pretty much with the little stopper on there. Only because there's only one fuel line, so it basically has to go this here, that there, and this is the connector to basically I believe it goes to one of these no it's this one yeah so this one goes in there once every thing is connected these aren't injectors this one goes to the left side because you do have this ground thingy majingy you have to connect that too. Once you remove the bolt, you put that there, put the bolt there. That's how you know. The longer one goes to the left side and the shorter one goes to the right. So going to get started. Probably start by doing the fuel line first and then we'll start with plugging and playing with the injectors. Let's get it. All right, so I laid some towels down to catch the, the gas when I do. Remove this bad boy here. One of the clamps over there. Give it a little wiggle. Okay. So we got this one off. This one's a little bit of a, a B word when you do get it off. Be careful because some gas did kind of splatter all. Kind of got me on my nose, literally. It's all good. So you kind of got to push it down back and forth and pry it up. I kind of used a flathead screwdriver. So now we're going to work our way to get this one off now. Let's see what we can do with this one. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh shit. Fuck, that was a lot of gas that just came out. This one was a tricky one though. But, like I was saying, if you do have a 392 Dodge Durango, this is it here. This is mine. It's lowered on some Ebok lowering springs. I have a AFE carbon fiber intake, 95 millimeter throttle body. And I got some more goodies coming. So, stay tuned. But, let's get back to this. So, now I'm going to connect the fuel pump which will be here and get these two connected and this one so let's get it 
So now that we have the fuel pump connected, I'm going to set this here like that. Tap that, make sure no more gas comes out. That one as well. So now we're going to connect this one. Come on, baby. There we go. You heard the snap. And now we are going to connect. It's going to be a funny one. Fuel pump. So it's going to have to connect like this. So basically, I had to switch it. The smaller one connects down here. having troubles getting into this one all right so we got the fuel pump connected it's all the way over here with this one connected as well boom boom so now we have this here now let's get the injectors all right we got this everything hooked up so this one connects to this we snap here it goes. Did I really just tangle that? Alright. Alright, that was a snap. So now we will be hooking up the injectors. Let's get started. Alright, so we need Removing these injectors, make sure you pretty much push that black clip down right there and then come on, push it right there. And, okay, we're gonna move to this one, give it a little wiggle, and it just pops right out. Oh, ouch, just bent my nail back. Push it back and give it a little wiggle. Let's do this one. Pull this one that way. Alright. Alright, so we have all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight injectors off. So now we're gonna start plugging these bad boys in. Just to let y'all know. The red part goes to the part we remove. So we plug the red into here, and this black one goes into this one. All right, so all the injectors, everything is plugged in. We are good to go. I've kind of been tucking them down keep them away from anywhere that's pretty pretty much hot but yeah they're all in this side this side's done so now you go here you want to connect this ground wire remove this 10 mil bolt here and this pretty much gets connected here and then you put the bolt back on but right now I am going to turn the car on, make sure there's no check engine light or anything like that. So let's start her up, see if we're good. All right, so we're getting ready to start the car. good 
says do it two or three. So we are looking good. There's no check engine lights or anything coming on right now. I started it once, so just let it, you know, do its thing. Nothing popped up. So I'm going to wait a couple minutes and I'm going to start it right back up again. See if anything pops up. So let's see what it does. All right. <sighs> So everything is connected. So this is the thing I ran into. I have one fuel pump and I ordered the 392 and I didn't know they had a Durango SRT kit. So basically this fuel pump right here is a lot smaller and it doesn't connect basically i needed it to connect to the ethanol sensor which is here it's the ethanol sensor slash map so i needed one to go here and the other one to be connected there and basically the bigger side connects and then the other side doesn't connect, if that makes any sense. So basically I hook one side up, hook that side up. This side doesn't fit to that fuel line down there or the top one. So the bottom one doesn't fit and the top one doesn't fit. So I need to order an extra one. That way I can get the map sensor connected some way, somehow. But technically, honestly, I don't really think you need it. I mean, you do, but then you don't. But this basically tells you exactly how much ethanol and the percentage and all of that. So technically you can still run E85 with the injectors and everything hooked up and also with the ProFlex Commander adapter thingy still connected as well. It's just that the map ethanol sensor isn't connected. So that's the only thing I've ran into, fucked up. So I need to order uh, basically the bigger fuel pump and just have both of the big ones running. That way I can hook it up to check the percentage of the ethanol. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, me being the way I am, I might just say fuck it and go ahead and me being the way I am, I might just say, fuck it, go ahead and just run E85, you know, kind of just see what it feels like. But the sensor, that's basically all it is. So we'll see. We will see. But stay tuned. I'll let y'all know if I gain anything. But for the most part, with all the damn wires and everything in the way, I can't put my damn covers back on so i kind of got to play around with the wires to try to figure out how to get those to snap back on appreciate y'all for watching let me give y'all a little understanding so this kit here is called proflex commander it allows you to go e85 or 91 so it comes with injectors as you can see a bigger fuel pump is here this is the original one because the, the other one was too small um and it comes with this adapter which yeah let's get it uh dun, 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 dun. don't want to show y'all my pen Here we go, first fill up on that E. All right, I'll take 
like this, over $100. Let me give y'all just a quick little pull. Seems a, a lot louder. And it's not more. It used to pop really loud. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. But yeah. Don't really feel a difference now, but we'll see. I really want to do a zero to 60. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh, that sat me back in the CC. That felt good. Thing checks out to be pretty good. Okay. 